food is an interesting topic, right? And as you, as you have noticed, the issue of food and what we eat and, and how we eat it has, over the last decade, been getting more and more predominant. It's just becoming like you can hardly open a newspaper or look on television without seeing something about food, whether it's the more gourmet aspects of food or whether it's the nutritional aspects of food. And there is a huge amount of contradiction and confusion around nutritional science. And There's a reason for this, I think. One of the reasons is that nutritional science is based, and how many other nutritionists do we have in the room? We have one, I know. Any others? No? Just, just you. You're the sole representative. Representative of, of, of nutritional science was, was based on finding out what's missing. It's about deficiency, right? So that's the way nutritional science started. Let's find out what's missing. These people are sick. Is there something there in their diet that's missing? And so nutritional science is always looking for what's missing, right? And when the, what's missing, when we run out of what's missing, right, then we start looking for silver bullets, right? Okay, well, it seems to be everything is in there, but there must be some super ingredient in there, some micronutrient that's the real key to the puzzle. And if we can find that micronutrient, that's going to be it. And if you go back over the last 30 years, I can guarantee you that every two years there's a new hero on the block, you know. I mean, some new nutrient and this is the one, right? And, you know, most recently it's been antioxidants. By God, antioxidants. Pump those puppies in there, you know, and then you'll, you'll be healthy, you know. <laughs> But fish oil, oh, and we got coconut milk now. Oh, wadi daddy, you know, coconut, coconut milk stacked to the ceiling, right? <laughs> Vitamin D, there you go, right? It's just, you know, we get into these, f and, and these are fads, right? And they're always generated out of some nutritional research, right? Um, you can also make money off fads. You absolutely can, right? And you make money, you make money off of confusion. Yes. <laughs> Because when there's confusion, then people are attracted into a solution for the confusion. Right? They say, oh my God, everything's so confusing. So some, if somebody gives you a good riff on why, you know, if you drink coconut milk, that's, that's absolutely the essential. Or if you have more uh, antioxidants than your body can ever possibly process. <laughs> Be because your body only can use a certain number of antioxidants and then you pee them out, right? You know, so, you, you know, you buy one of these, you know, 10 time, times the recommended dose of antioxidants, you know, and 90% and of it is just gone in 24 hours, right? D didn't do anything for you at all, right? And couldn't, right? So this kind of confusion is really, it really drives out a huge industry, the, f the food industry and the, the so the health food industry has actually come full circle. Uh, in the 1950s, health food stores were nothing but pills. Uh, my, my friends and I used to go to, the, there was a little health food store. Uh, in the town that I lived in, and it was associated, which was not un uncommon, uh, with a, a gym, which was also rare, right? There's people lifting free weights, right? And so there were about four guys that were in there every day that looked like Charles Atlas or wanted to, right? Charles Atlas is completely lost on you, but, you know, <laughs> so he was like the bodybuilder that used to be, his picture was always everywhere, be like me, you know, the muscular guy, and don't let people kick sand in your face at the beach and that kind of thing. And so there was a, and we used to go and bang on the windows and make fun of them, you know? You know, and to, 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 because the, the, the joke was to try to get them to chase you, right? Because they weren't really very athletic, right? They couldn't move their bodies, you know? So we always tried to tease them out to, to chase them. That probably explains more about my character than you really need to know, but, <laughs> but it, was, it was fun at the time, right? But that was kind of the health food store, and the, health, and the whole natural health industry is moving back around that direction. You see, there was a time when then the natural food movement in the, in the 70s, when you went into a natural food store, it was all food. There was no pills at all. None. 
because everybody was saying, okay, it's what you eat, right? Yeah. So we eat well, and then it's just got to kind of sneaking back in and sneaking back in, and pretty soon it's going back the way it was. Because we have a, a mythology which is deeply embedded in us, and that is that if a little bit is good, a lot must be fantastic. Right? Mm -hmm. 